In my opinion, internal linking is the most overlooked aspect of SEO, which is mind-blowing considering that it's 100% free, relatively low effort, and internal links are a confirmed ranking factor. So today, I will show you how to build an internal linking strategy to help you boost your rankings. If you are new to SEO, let's first cover the basics. Internal links are links pointing from one page of your website to another page on it. This way, they help both users and search engines navigate your site. Good internal linking enhances user experience by making it easier for visitors to find related content. This can increase the time users spend on your site and reduce bounce rates. In a similar manner, internal links help search engines crawl your site more efficiently. By following these links, search engines can discover new content and update their index accordingly. One one of the most important roles is that internal links can pass link equity, also known as link juice, from one page to another. This helps boost the authority of linked pages, which can improve their ranking in search results. The good thing is that, unlike backlinks, internal links are completely under your control. So you really shouldn't ignore this piece in your SEO strategy puzzle. But how do you build an internal linking strategy? Well. You shouldn't rely on the spray and pray method for this. Instead, you can use internal linking to strategically organize your website's content. For instance, by smartly linking to important pages, you can ensure that your link equity is distributed in a way that prioritizes the most valuable content. Linking to underperforming pages from stronger pages can help improve their visibility and ranking. Meanwhile, by linking related content together, you can create a content clusters around a specific topic. This helps establish your site as an authority on the topic, which which can positively impact rankings as well. So topic clustering is a well-known method you can use to base your internal linking strategy on. In fact, almost 90% of Surfer users leverage topic clusters as part of their SEO strategy. This model revolves around creating clusters of related content searched around single pillar page. The pillar page is at the center. This is your most important and comprehensive page. Each cluster page links back to the pillar page, pointing to its significance. The supporting pages are also connected to each other, creating a web of interconnected content. You can see what that looks like on Surface domain map visualization. Here's what it looks like for our website. All the related topics are clustered together. And here you can see a fully covered individual cluster with the core topic in the center. But in this video, I'm not focusing on how to build topic clusters. We have another video on that, so please take a look at it if you are interested. Instead, I will focus on showing you how to link the content within the cluster in a smart way. Once you've created your pillar and supporting web pages, it's time to bring them together using internal links. Link from your supporting pages upwards to the pillar page, and then link supporting pages to each other. Page A links to page B and vice versa. B links to C and so on. Here's a demonstration of what this looks like in practice. You start with the pillar page and then tackle each supporting page one by one. As you publish new supporting pages, you should add a link pointing to the pillar, then return to the pillar page and add a link to the supporting page. Once you publish several pages, it might be tricky to track which pages to link to. For that, you can use the insert internal links feature inside Surfer's content editor. Make sure your domain is connected through our Google Search Console integration. And with just one click, Surfer will now scan your website and add relevant internal links inside your content. As you can see, the anchor text for each link is contextual. This is another important point when adding internal links. Don't use generic tags like this page or click here. The anchor text should describe the page on which the user is headed. It will help them navigate your site more easily. And as you publish more content, they will be able to find everything they need on a topic without leaving your site. This is how you gain authority on the topic and in the eyes of search engines. Plus, descriptive text helps search engine crawlers better understand your site context. It's okay to also link to pages outside of your cluster though, but don't overdo it with the links. It can look spammy. And as you publish more content to cover each cluster, the more authority you will gain for that cluster as a whole. Which means that your newly published and underperforming pages might start to run faster as link equity passes to it from the stronger pages. I know that constantly publishing high quality content is a time consuming task, but thankfully we live in the age of AI. You can leverage AI content writing tools such as Surfer AI to make content creation a breeze. Here you can check what makes Surfer AI the right tool for your SEO content needs. And here you have it, folks. Everything you need to know on how to build effective internal linking strategy. While internal links are not a complicated SEO tactics, you still need to be strategic about how to use them. With the right approach and tools, you can create and implement internal linking strategy that will boost 
your overall SEO performance. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, share and subscribe for more actionable SEO content. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and cheers.